Okay, doing kind of a video over here before the car gets sent out for um, ceramic coating and PPF. So just kind of a note in this Alcantara, um, and not Alcantara maintenance basically. So I figured this might be something a lot of people who, this is their, this, this is their first time seeing this much Alcantara on the car. This is your first performance vehicle and that might have that kind of stuff. You might not have thought about Alcantara maintenance, which is something you're gonna to need to think about. Um, Alcantara has a really bad rap online for being um, looking terrible after a, a few months or a few weeks of use even, depending on the use case. I think that's really because a lot of people don't look into how to clean Alcantara properly, and they just kind of treat it as if like any other fabric, any other cloth. Alcantara is kind of a high maintenance material, unfortunately, and um, Hyundai is elected to use that on the seats, as well as this little material over here on the front and the back, the car, obviously. So um, Alcantara will slowly build up oil with use and it'll kind of mat down as you're using it. And you want to be kind of cognizant of that. You want to keep the car looking nice, try to maintain it so you don't have a ton of oil build up. You don't have that all those fibers really matting down. Kind of what I mean by that is um, basically for me, what I'm doing uh, kind of almost like every two days is I am brushing Alcantara basically with this, uh, this is a horsehair, really soft bristle horsehair brush. Um, that's a good like sort of thing to do decently often. Um, the uh, color block ones work really well for this. This is from Car CarPro USA. But really what I'm doing is like after the material has been kind of like sat on, messed around with a little bit, um, just open up the seat and just straight up just brush the material a little bit. Go back and forth, just kind of just reset where those fibers kind of are. And that'll help a little bit. That'll kind of um, revive some of the, hello, spray bottle. Um, that'll kind of revive some of the fibers and stick them back up on there. Um, it's not really something you're going to feel, not like an Alcantara steering wheel, which you will definitely feel if, you, if you're brushing it often, you'll feel the difference there. I'm thinking about one to be completely honest. But um, what you're doing with uh, brushing basically is what Alcantara material is, is it's basically like leather, but it's the flip side of leather. It's the other side of it. And that's why you get this kind of velvety sort of feel because you got all those little fibers on the, basically the backside of that leather sticking up. And that's what you're feeling. That's why it feels nice. Um, kind of soft sort of velvety basically as you use it though those fibers are going to go and mat down over time and that's why um, it's not going to feel as good it'll feel smooth not really giving you those friction properties that you're looking for with Alcantara anyways it'll get maybe a little slippery and especially with the oils building up on there it's just going to get really slippery and it's going to look gross so something to kind of keep in mind um, if it gets really dirty which I expect this to be getting really dirty after maybe like two months three months I'm probably going to go and do it kind of a mild um, to like medium clean on it. And this uh, product I have stocked for that is um, I'm using CarPro inside. There's tons of Alcantara specific materials out there for which everyone making um, car detailing stuff does this. So I'm using CarPro inside since I have kind of the entire CarPro stack. It's a one to 10 dilution, which they recommend this diluted to for uh, Alcantara use basically. And um, you can go Google or like YouTube, how do you maintain Alcantara? There are tons of guides out there. Really what it usually entails is you're just gonna mist some of, that, some of that cleanser onto the material and you're just gonna work it in gently with a brush. Then you hit it afterwards with maybe a rag, hit it afterwards with a wet rag, just damp with water, and then just um, dry that off basically. You're really trying to avoid two things with cleaning Alcantara and that's gonna be, one is soaking it. You really do not wanna soak this stuff. You don't want it to wrinkle. If it wrinkles, that's that's kind of done for at that point. You're not going to be able to undo that. So you don't want to really soak the material, and you also don't want it to be exposed to very high heat because that would also cause wrinkles on there. If it's if it's wrinkled, it's kind of it, that is how it is going to be from now on, basically. So you want to try to avoid that. So um, on heat, also, um, obviously I got the car tinted, so I should have a that's a that's a ceramic and IR blocking tint as well as UV blocking, obviously, so I'm hoping that'll help along some of the longevity of the seats. And also over there is a Covercraft, um, you saw that custom sunshade that goes on the front of the car, since the windshield isn't tinted. So I'm hoping that'll also help along some of the longevity of this. Yeah, just kind of making a video out there just in case people haven't thought about that. Um, this is going to look gross if after a, maybe less than a year if you drive the car a lot and think about the other seats as well if you're carrying passengers so something you want to kind of pay attention to as far as upkeep um i feel like alcantara can look really nice if you're keeping up with it. if you just let it sit there for months it's, it is going to become what it is basically so um uh, just something to kind of think about just food for dawn on that aspect